yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, assalamu alaikum. I, I met this gentleman here. Uh, I am in Washington DC and you know we were having chit chat or you know that this is a Pakistan legendary artist. Uh, he told me about Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan. He is uh, one of his favorites. So, would you tell something about Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan? Well, I was introduced to him through Peter Gabriel, <laughs> who's an uh, English, English uh, rock and roll musician. Mm -hmm. And he started a record company called uh, Real World. And, uh, and then I also had a friend in New York named Linwood. Mm -hmm. And he, the two of them kind of, at the same time we, I started getting into him, Linwood told me that he, he loved Nusrat Fatah Ali Khan. And so I went to a concert with him, and that was at Lincoln Center. Mm -hmm. and that's, so in, that's, in Washington, D.C.? No, that's in New York City. All right. I used to live in New York City. I see, okay. So I went there first. That's the first time I saw him. And they, they did that thing. They had no time limit, right? So mm -hmm. it was, there was like two hours of warming up. Mm -hmm. And it was so great because it was such a strange sound. I've never heard that sound before, right? Uh -huh. And then and then when it started to kick in, mm -hmm. and they hit that groove with the tablas. Mm -hmm. Tablas. The ta and and uh, and then he started singing and and it was it was a uh, it was poly music at the time. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So, so it wasn't doing the classical; it was more poly. Mm -hmm. And it was four hours long. Oh. And people were going insane. Like and there was one point in it where people were running up to the stage and throwing their money on the stage. Oh <laughs> my was, god! It was incredible. But Wait, which year it was? Which yeah, which year? year? Which year? Oh, I don't know. How long ago? Oh, about 19, 20... 1990s. Oh, yeah, 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 right, right. Must and be around that. So I saw him, and people were just going insane. But the thing that I loved about him was um, the, the sound, just it just filled his whole body. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, he had that body, and he was sitting down, and the sound just filled up his whole body, and when it came out of his mouth, it was just so gigantic. He was resonating, yeah. He was on another level. The guy's on a, he was on another level. And so I saw him a few times after that, and every time, it was great. He, he would take his time building, uh, building to that sound. There was, it was kind of like he was, he was listening to himself, and he was listening to the band, mm -hmm. and they were building and building, and then they got to a point where mm -hmm. that voice finally exploded out of him, mm -hmm. and then they stayed there for like an hour or two. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Thank you so much oh, for, for sharing your thoughts. <laughs>